Hey everybody, it's uh, Mark Ruggiero here, Clark Commando 1983 with part three, Grognard Sims Death Ride Tarla. Learn how to play. Today we're gonna, which will be pretty quick, this video will basically go through the Japanese terms. Not much is gonna happen except for suppression recovery. And then we'll at least get through the marine turn, which will be to load up and I'll go over the landing craft rules. So that this will be part three. May even do enough to uh, start doing the um, moving in towards the beach so I can actually get rolling on this. Only got a couple days left before my surgery and I really wanna get into having some combat. So let's get started here. I'm gonna I guess I'll zoom in just a little bit so you can see some of the suppression markers. Not a whole lot to do with the Japanese. I got really no reason to move them. Got no idea where the Marines are going to land. Normally this would be their operational part where they could move, shoot, do assaults, etc. We're going to immediately go to suppression recovery, which since nobody's adjacent, all these suppression markers are going to come off because they're on the green side. And normally you can recover up to two levels if you're not adjacent. They seem silly to mark them, but it's good to just have the habit of doing it. And we're going to do it here. Hopefully we'll get all these correct. Get them set up for next time. I'm gonna save the, uh, like I said, the Marines are saving up their big bombardment with the air and the naval all at once for um, when the troops are more closer to hitting the beach. And also it's just, you know, these bombardments will come in handy as we approach the beach because it will have an effect on the strength and whatnot of the Japanese defenders. Um, this should be interesting. Oh, there's a guy we forgot to flip earlier in the U.S. turn. We'll fix that. I'm really looking forward to Consum Expo 2024. I'm organizing a big Normandy game for this, which is going to be pretty exciting. Got about eight people, six which I can, I know I can count on, barring some disaster 99% of the time. So anyways, that's the Japanese turn. That's it. So we're going to advance the turn marker. Be to 0600 to 0800. You'll know, next turn we're gonna. I don't know if you can see it way over there. Probably maybe not, but we're gonna go to 40 minute turns. So what's gonna happen here is the first thing that's gonna happen is we're gonna go ahead and uh, do the bombardment, and then I will go over the landing craft rules, load them up in the rally areas. Get them ready to approach the beaches. We're going to once again just do the uh, shore bombardment. So this time, uh, let's see here. No real reason to gang up because you can't get, uh, uh, excuse me, more than a S2. But we want to get these battleships going. So we're going to go here. Here. Go over to Red Beach 2. Where is this? Yeah, 2. Whoops. I guess the one question that I need to answer is... Maybe if we roll for more than one, we can gang up. Let me go look.
look and see if you roll for each turret or if you roll as for once for the biggest gun. I'm going to look this up really quick in the master rules. So that would be section 19, amphibious operations, uh, landing traffic at the beach, hitting the beach, here we go, naval. Just had it. There we go. 19.3.1 pre invasion bombardment. Looks like you roll for each gun. Hmm. Okay, that makes a little more sense. I guess we could gang up. Um. All right, well, let's do that then. Let's gang up some. See how we do. Oops. Guess I'll email Chris, the designer. Make sure I'm doing this correctly. But for purposes of my video, we're going to go ahead and gang up on these bad boys. How about them apples? And we're going to roll for each turret. All right. So as I showed you before, using their bombardment table, their naval bombardment table here. What's going on here? Am I zoomed in? Uh, let me stand up on my cancer swollen feet. I'm going to show you the chart. That's why I zoomed out. That horrible shadow. So this is the chart we're going to be rolling on. All right. Well, let's start. So we'll go left to right. Oh, excuse me. So, we got the Anderson. This is a cruiser. Cruisers get a plus two. And then we got the Tennessee. It's a battleship. They get a plus three on their roll. And we're in cover. It looks like we got a gun and a platoon. So we'll roll for the cruiser first. Oh my goodness. All right, here we go. So the cruiser eight plus two is a 10. That's gonna be against a 13D, that's two suppressions. And 
cover. That's two suppressions on both units. And then the battleship. So that's four suppression. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. That's not good for the Japanese. They're not going to enjoy that. But Marines are going to enjoy it. And... As I've stated before, when you first place suppressions, you place the red ones. Okay. And then we're going to clip these bad boys because I didn't clip. And I'll show you the counter one more time for the sake of completeness. And I'm clipping these the old fashioned way with my nail clippers because the Counters are pretty thick, but not too shabby. All right, so red side up. That's the whole hex. All right, there we go. Okay. And then we got the Ringgold the Cruiser. Colorado. This is a fortress hex. Everything's protected by the fortress. Colorado. Colorado. Where are you, Mr. Colorado? Okay, looks like you know, I probably placed him by accident somewhere. So we'll find him in a minute. Alright, so here goes. I'm going to use two dice. Green will be the battleship plus three. Yellow will be the cruiser. Fortress got a one. So four, that's a miss by the battleship. And a six plus three is a nine. So that's going to be a one suppression from the cruiser. And we got the Russell and not the Colorado. That's where we blew it. All right. Well, we're going to have the Russell shoot at this hex. I can find it. Put that back. Remember, you got two counters. So here we go. Against a strong point. Six plus two is an eight. And they're dug in. That's uh, S2. Then we go over here to the dash hole. Uh -huh. And the Indianapolis. Okay, the Indianapolis. There we go. Roll two dice. No poop. Oh, the strong point. Okay. There you go. All right, so I got the cruiser. Looks like it's going to miss with a one. Plus two is a three. That's a miss. And then we got the nine. Plus three is a 12. That's an S2. And once again, I want to thank you guys for joining me. I really do appreciate you watching. Like and subscribe if you're enjoying what you're seeing. I'm going to do a live pretty late uh, tomorrow night. Because it fits my sleeping schedule. And for those of you overseas or something, it might fit your schedule a little better. So I got a cruiser. Oh my goodness. On this uh, dug in here, got a cruiser and a battleship. All right, so that's four. I'm going to do, yeah, they both got, well, let's make sure. So dug in, nine is two, and eight is two. So four suppressions. Remember, five suppressions. Units die. It's still going to take a couple of turns because these guys will flip. 
the green side at the end of the U.S. term, and then recover two levels um, at the end of the Japanese term. So, okay, I'm gonna do the against the Ford here. Get the Frazier. And the Maryland. That's against this fort here. So fort, six. That's one suppression with the cruiser. And the eight plus three is 11. So that's going to be three suppressions. And that hex. I was watching a documentary and it talked about uh, Red Beach 1 was the uh, toughest fight. It's a good thing the uh, Red Beach 2. It's a good thing with all these minefields out here that the um, uh, Marines have a lot of engineers. So they'll hopefully be able to come on and uh, this one we got three cruisers on the strong point. We got the Gavin, it looks like the Gavin port. If I can read right in this light. The Mead and the Bailey. So these will be plus two rolls against the, uh, whoops, fort. All right, see, I gotta, I'm forgetting to look at what I'm doing. I need to pay attention. So one plus two is three is a miss. Five plus two is a seven is a S1. And then an S2 because I rolled a 10. So it'll be a three on the fort. All right. Let's go ahead and place that. Make sure the video is still going. Sorry, it's not ideal. Okay, well, it could be ugly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so now we're gonna go over the uh, rules for the landing craft. Not that difficult. All that's going to happen this turn is they're kind of loading up from the main ships. The troops are coming down the rope, getting in their landing craft. And then we're going to look at the, what we're getting released here. On 0620, November 20th, looks like Red Beach 1. And let's see, second Marine Division. Make sure I can do this correctly. Uh, which battalion is that? I'm gonna have to stand up so I can look, darn it. Oh goodness. All right, let's uh let's look. We have when I read that. Oh my goodness. First and second company on Red Beach One, or battalion. So the third battalion. And where is that? We want third battalion, second Marines. There we go. It's a lot of units. And I'm gonna have trouble reaching. So, 
I'm going to pick these bad boys. And go in here. So now, and then I'm going to go over what's happening. And what the capacity of each landing craft is. So this is Red Beach 1. So I'll show you what that looks like in just a minute. And then it looks like we've got a couple companies of engineers. Uh, where are they at? There we go. A and B. Looks like yeah, A and B company. Some engineers. C company's gonna come in on Red Beach 2. We'll put them over here a little bit. So this is uh, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Let me adjust the camera a little bit. Um, well, that's the eighth Marine. Okay. All right. So we're going to land. Oh, my goodness. Second. Looks like the second Marine Regiment is going to come in, the HQ. Coming in on Red Beach 2 also. Along with the first and second battalion. Got a bit of troops there. I'm going to get these groupings together. And then I will show you what I'm doing. Some of it I think I'm going to do off camera. Keep the length of this video shorter. But I am going to cover what's going to load up in this video before I go off camera. Um, and then Red Beach 3 is going to be the 2nd Battalion 8th Marines. And 2nd A Company of Engineers. That'll be Red Beach 3. And put them over here for now. There, right, 8th Marines, 2nd Battalion. There we go. Alright, HQ. Gotta tell you, it's really tough to stand up with these. And cancer legs and feet. But I'm going to do what I can. Yeah, I'll be able to sit here in just a second. And then I'll adjust the camera so I can show you what I'm doing. I sure hope I get my energy levels up. A little better for tomorrow night. Ah, these legs. Let me tell you something. Oh, boy. Okay. So what happens is it's fairly mechanical. And I'm going to... So over here, I got Red Beach 1. Red Beach 2. And you can't see, I got Red Beach 3. I'm going to have to reach way over there. I actually bring them on. 
So we're gonna load up. I'm gonna go over the landing craft rules. Pretty simple. And what's happening this turn is a picture in your mind that troops coming down the nets, getting in their landing craft and uh, waiting to come ashore. So landing crafts and ships. So there's six different types of landing craft. For the purpose of discussion, they're from now on called landing craft. So you have your LC landing craft vehicle and personnel. And they look like, oh boy, you're going to make me reach again, aren't you? Uh, all right. So they're going to look like this. Have little 30 millimeter machine guns. They're medium target. Defense eight. There you go. These bad boys can load up. Uh, two platoons of infantry. Um, they have a movement of 14. Once they start coming down the track, I noted on the back. Okay. Uh, once they hit the, uh, except for the, which I'll get to, the mechanized, once they hit the reef out here, Per the terrain effects chart, that's when they get to roll on, and I'll cover it when we do the landings, just for the sake of completeness, so you can see the chart they're going to roll on, dig it up here, damn cancer fingers, yeah. Hopefully I'll get to play a little more tomorrow and it'll be more exciting. Um, you got this little chart here. Landing craft table. That they're going to roll on. And it looks like, remember the die roll is 0 to 10. So it looks like 70% of the time they're going to offload their troops on the reef. Which is going to suck. It's going to take them a while to wade into shore, and at the whole time they'll be getting shot at. Uh, but anyway, so that's the uh, landing craft. Uh, that type. And then you have the mechanized, which also have a movement of 14. They're kind of limited. Now these you can choose to use where you want. Uh, There we go. Hopefully you can see that. Um, these guys have a defense of 10. These guys can also move on land. And they also have 14 movement points. But they actually, when they hit the reef, they get to keep going because they're tracked. Um, oh my God, that's the track. Did I just screw it up? Are you using transport vehicles, heavy equipment to the beach? Uh, two platoons of armor or two of infantry? So the mechanized don't have to roll. It's just the... Uh, I'm going to confirm that with Chris. The... Uh, uh, the LV, um, oh my goodness, landing craft vehicle and personnel. And the tracked. They can carry one platoon of infantry. They have 30, I'll show you the track guys here in a minute.
It looks like the tracked ones, according to this, are the only ones that don't roll. And the, uh, on the, uh, to get across the reef. I'll confirm that with Chris, the designer. So we're going to load up all the, um, all the stuff. In the case of where we have the HQs, which are companies, you have to use more than one transport. Um, otherwise, we're going to just load them up. Now, I'm going to do that off camera. I don't want to bore you with it. I uh, went over the capacity, went over the landing craft. And what we'll do when we come back for video four, I'll have it set up to where I'm gonna go ahead and start progressing down the beach, which would mean we'll have moved on to the 0800 turn. So I won't bore you with the next video, um, which will start. So video four, we will start the 0800, which will move to 40 minute turns. Um, and that's where the Marines will actually start their approach to the beaches. And we'll be all ready to go. So this one's pretty short. Just did a quick overview once again, really quick of the bombardment, suppression, placement, and the landing craft. So that's it. All right, have a great evening. See you soon. Bye.